Well, good morning, everyone. This is a beautiful, crisp morning. We've been combining corn the last two days. We're gonna get back on beans now. Here we are on the 9870. We're gonna do a little oil check and uh, get this thing ready and show you how the switch over to beans go. Oil well, looks, do a glove wipe today. Just got a nice fresh pair of jeans on. I don't wanna get oil on them. Oh yeah, good to go. When we're fueling up, we'll check our air filter. Air Ugh, ugh, can't talk. Ugh, air filters, and we'll blow the radiator off. Yeah, now I don't know who it was the other day. I saw a new ladder on the combine. That looked pretty awesome. I will say I like the ladder situation on the 9870 better than the 790. We're going to disconnect the corn head, but first we've got to blow some debris off. As I got out of the cab, it wouldn't be a harvest season without corn on the cab or cab on the corn if i could ever invent a little mini hopper up there and save all those bushels and then just use that for like fun money at the end of the year to buy like pepsi or mountain dew for the shop or candy bars that would be a great idea so if anybody out there has never spilled on their cab or if they have a way to capture it. I'd like to know how that goes. Let's see how the Milwaukee is blowing up. Woo! No wind this morning. It's just kind of hovered. We can't be blowing this off up in the yard. We got the yard all looking nice now. We do this out here in this waterway along the bean field. Now here's something I like to do. You put your fuel hose underneath your ladder so when you're stepping down you don't step on it because i have stepped on it before and i've never tripped but boy it rolls your foot on that ladder like you don't want it's a little inconvenient to put it underneath there and carry it up but that's a lot more convenient than falling and laying on the ground and wondering what you're doing we're gonna blow this air filter off first thing i gotta do a little revamping on my corn moisture grabber here I don't seem to see everyone grabbing that first and it kind of concerns me. We're gonna modify it a little bit this morning while it's damp. But before we blow some dust, I'm gonna move my lunchbox because I don't wanna open my lunchbox in a couple hours and find nothing but a bunch of dust in there. Here we go, here's our three seconds of fun. Might be more like three minutes. But... So we got this air blower with these little tiny holes in it. Just stick it down here and blow the air out through the filter. Woo! Imagine putting that in your engine every day. Waiting for Devin here. Yo, Del! Push the chopper knives in. I didn't think he could hear me with the fuel pump running. Anybody do it like that? You think you got a lever, you can do it, but it gets all crooked. Tighten the chopper dive. I'm laying here stretching my back. Gotta put this thing down. Yeah, baby. You ready? No, 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 no. Just tighten the thing. Oh, you have it where? Yeah, I'm ready to oh. go, man. Come on, man. I've been doing this for 34 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Listen to, listen to the millennial kid. Hey, now when it comes to computers, I'm moonwalking out of here. <laughs> now make sure it's turned, uh, you know, horizontal with the ground so it doesn't catch debris or whatnot. That's oh, very no, important. Good, okay. That's good. As you can see, got myself a long pipe today we are combining some seed beans we tried some commercial this morning for some reason the variety was just a little bit wet and dirty we found a few of the seed beans that are gonna go and to deal with seed beans we got to put them in a bin holds about 18 to 20 thousand bushel and the farm we're doing is about 260 acres so it should all fit we got to get this auger set up it's a 13 inch diameter and a 94 foot long auger. This thing is a monster. Before you lift the thing up 40 feet in the air, make sure you undo this. Otherwise you'll get up there and you'll be like, huh, 
Um, forgot to undo that. Now I can't undo it. Got you guys on my hat, Bill. I don't know how this is gonna work. Got Oh, I should have a wide angle view, but this will work. Open up your side. Ventilation. Oh, it's a little windy today. Lid secured. The depth perception is so off. Here I thought I was like, you know, a couple feet away. Ah, not even close. All right, Captain, we got it. That's pretty good, at least from down here, right? Put the hopper down and see how we come out for a space. Hopefully the trucks put the nose up right about where I'm standing. Should be around right here with the nose of the truck. Now that the hopper's down, it's got a hydraulic motor. So what you basically do, come in here, hydraulic three, Put that bungee on it. Traction. There we go. We're in business. Yeah. That should work. Made it to the field with the truck. Getting the first load that's gonna go in the bin. Hopefully I got it set up right. Badger will probably critique me. Oh well. Live and learn. Seed bean protocol, not near as complicated as seed corn. I don't even know the science behind seed beans. I feel like they're just beans. The company takes them, they sort them, they test germ, they maybe treat them. If they treat them, most of the time you don't really treat beans until you get them at the seed dealership. So I don't really know the science behind seed beans. If anybody knows the science behind seed beans, Comment below. The only thing you gotta do for seed beans is you gotta run a clean out on your combine. Just run a load through of these beans, take them to the elevator. That way it just kind of pushes any of them old beans that you might've had out. You gotta store them. And then usually they'll come get them in the winter time or even before. It works out pretty well. We got a nice auger. We got pretty nice bins that are off farm that work good for this kind of stuff. So that's why we do it. You get kind of a premium for growing seed beans. So, yeah, it, it's worth your time to do the little extra monkey business. I got a motor out here.
KD20, she is driving. So here's your brake. Push that in. Hard. Hard. Real hard. Okay, now. Okay, so push the clutch in. All the way. Okay, hit the, push on the brake, you're rolling. I know I'm rolling. Okay. <laughs> They're sensitive now. All right, I'm gonna put it in all the way. All the way, there you go. Okay, you're in gear. All right, slowly let out. I have the, my foot on the brake. That's okay, just feather it. It'll go by itself. Like I let go of the brake? Yeah, you can let go of the brake and slowly let out of the clutch. Okay, give her a little gas. Get to 1700 RPM. You're gonna take the stick and move it straight down. Let, and let go of the throttle, just like you're shifting a manual vehicle, right. but you don't have to, you don't, you know, just, no, 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 okay. Oh, I don't put the clutch in. Okay, there you go. You're in second. You just float. And you don't have to push the clutch in. Okay. I knew that. I knew that. Okay. Get up to 1700. I'll shift it for you. I just want you to drive. When you get 1700, no, keep going. Go a little more. Tell me when. When. Okay, let go. Okay. Do it again. Say when. When. Let go. There you go. How you're driving, at least. How's it feel? Like I'm driving a car. Really? Yeah. It's a lot bigger, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't turn. Yeah. <laughs> we'll work on the turns later. We're just getting you to just getting the experience behind the big rig, just feeling it out. But I want to shift. I tried to shift with the clutch. Okay, you want to shift again? Well, not right now. I'm, I'm in third. You're so in four. You're I'm in the fourth four. hole. Okay, it's so not, then I'd go to third, two, one. Okay, so one is right here. Yep, two, two is here. Three, three four. four. And then to go to the fifth hole, you flip this up and you go back to the one. And then it'll go five, then, six, seven, yeah. eight. Yeah, I knew that. You want to try fifth? I don't know. So we got to the stop sign up there about half a quarter mile. You want to try a downshift? It's a little, it's pretty difficult. It's, it's, up a hill though? That's the best time to do it. Okay, so let me just okay. explain the down. I let go of the clutch, or I take my foot off the gas, and then I put in the clutch. And then you take it out of gear, and then you give it gas up to 1700, and you find the hole. The down. Where's the hole? Like the the lower gear, so like third. Okay, so let's try this. I'm getting chest pain. When I say, I want you to push your foot in on the clutch, just real okay. quick. And I'm gonna okay. take it out of gear, okay. and then let go of the gas. And then when I say rev it. Rev it. We'll okay, try so it down. I take my foot off the gas. Put it in. Okay. Take your foot off. Push the clutch in. Okay. Rev it. You just downshifted. Go. Ah. Okay. You did it. That okay, was good. So when you when you go in the hole, do I need to put my foot on the clutch again? No. Nope. So I just put in my clutch. You get in out, and then I let. Then I don't touch the clutch again. The, the clutch just, is just to get it out of gear. And then I just put it on. Okay. Yeah. So let's try second. Okay. Rev it. A little more. A little more. Okay. That's good. That's, that's good. That was plenty, but it was good. It's okay. Clutch? Plenty rev. Okay. But it's okay. Sometimes you got to give it a little more if your speed doesn't match right to find the right hole. Okay. You're doing great. Now we just coast to the stop sign. Well, we could have. It's okay. We could have downshifted. I was just a little nervous. That's all right. You're doing great. You're in second. <laughs> We missed it, yep. Okay, stop, break. Oh. Yep. Okay, push your clutch in. I can't do both. <laughs> All the way. There's, it, a, there's a thing called a clutch break. There you go, right there. Okay. Can, you, can you scoot up anymore? Like I need to get closer? What, yeah, can you get closer? Yeah. There you go. Am I, yep. 1700, just straight down. Yep. Don't, just straight down. Yep. <laughs> Snap! Look at that! You're doing great. Okay, if it won't come out, don't force it out. Uh, that just, it's, sometimes when you're rolling downhill, it doesn't, it doesn't to want to come out. You kind of have to give it a little bit. So, there you go. Give it, give it a little more than you think sometimes. It, it's, it's a fine line. 
not want to come out? Oh, I'm not trying. Do okay. I need to try? I would. Okay, it's okay. See, if you're going downhill, sometimes it's it takes a little more. Okay. Some, there you go. You should be. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think it was good going from two to three. Yeah, that's, that's ending, a lot. That's, that's intermediate. I'm still beginner. Okay. There we go. It, it's some, almost sometimes you want to have a little bit of your foot on the throttle when you pull it out. Just a little bit, but not... Kind of like, just like... Like, right there. I'm still yeah. on, but I want to... Yes, perfect. Oh. Comment down below how Katie's doing. First time. I think she's doing great. She's a CDL truck driver in the making for Man Family Farms. Alright. I don't think she's going to make this tight curve. Well, this one should be fine. Turn down the dead end road. Now that's a sketchy one. <laughs> Doing it in the white tennis shoes. You can't wear white on a farm. They're okay. Dirty. Put pressure on that and then pull the yellow out. Like that? Yeah. There you go. That way you don't set the trailer brake. This is the truck brake. Yeah. That's the trailer. So, all right. Turn it off. Very good. Oh, we're still going at it. It's only. Nine o'clock though. That is the one advantage to putting beans in a bin. The co-op usually shuts down around six, seven o'clock. So you don't have to wait for that. Combine as late as you want. Wouldn't be possible without high capacity light. Real deal, man. You gotta get some. Well, I'm not real sure how late we're gonna go. I'll just keep going until somebody says we're done. Oh, maybe 100 acres left in that field, which it, that'll take at least four or five hours to finish. If my math is right, that's about 1 a.m. What's stopping us? I can tell you what's stopping us. It starts with a B. It ends with an N. A breakdown. We don't need that. Like a wee character running. <laughs> that was the point. <sighs> I haven't cardio done in a while. 